the realities of life after birth. So it's getting towards the end of your pregnancy and you are getting ready for the inevitable hospital stay for the birth of your new baby. You are wondering if you have everything taken care of and if you are ready with everything you need for the birth of your new baby. If this is your first baby then you have probably read many articles and books that tell you how to prepare for the labor and birth. There are always practical things to take care of during and immediately after the birth of your new baby that must be addressed. 1. The naming of your baby. Most people already have a name picked out for their new baby, but sometimes the name doesn't suit the face and so new parents have been known to change their mind at the last minute. It's always good to have a few backup names, just in case you change your mind. There are lots of websites that have baby name suggestions where you can gain some inspiration when choosing a name. Simply Google, baby names, and you will be presented with many websites that have not only names for babies, but also the meaning of the names too. 2. Government forms and official documents. Obtaining the birth certificate and registering the name of your new baby with any applicable government agencies. In Australia, the baby must be registered with the government in order to receive financial benefits. Check with your government or agency to see what you have to do. Usually the forms you need to fill out to satisfy your government are supplied by the hospital and the hospital staff can be a great source of information and advice. It's certainly a good place to start. 3. Announcing the birth of your baby to family and friends. Family and friends are just as excited as you are about the birth of your new baby. A baby announcement is a nice courtesy to let people know a few details about the birth. People are interested in not only the new baby, but also how the birth progressed and what methods were used. Your family and friends would appreciate some information. You can choose to disclose as much information about the birth as you wish. For example you can put in labor time, doctor's name, birth method, birth weight, parents' names, birth date and more. Only the questions you answer will be displayed so it's ideal if you want to disclose certain things and keep others to yourself. This is a great way to share the whole birth story with everybody. If you would like to add something based on your experience and help other mums in our community feel free to write a comment below and don't forget to subscribe our channel.